Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be finishing Shadow Soul Season 2, this last episode, the finale, episode 12, Those Who Fight Back. Last episode was super uh, aggravating and sad, okay? Like I was mad by um, everything that's going on in the house and how unfair and cruel it is, right? But it was sad because um, Meridos and Rosemary just the same way that um, Anthony and Christopher did. And then we have Barbara and Barbie that know nothing and I'm just really upset about that. And then um, Barbara's trying to be an adult just to see him, but he's dead. And then she's gonna like, but she knows about the merge, so that's gonna sacrifice Barbie. It's, everything is just not going well and I wish that just, I wish she knew, but there's no one else to tell her now, right? But I think Anthony's still around. So like we have to tell her oh, she's gonna kill Barbie then. That's, we can't have no more deaths, right? Um, she's gonna get Barbie killed. If Anthony's still around, I want him to make an appearance now, who knows? Let's get into this last episode, those two fight back. It's not her to do, let's continue. I also seen a comment, um, not on my videos, but like where I'm watching it that says hopefully, it says what if she put something down there to catch themselves? Um, but it's also a deep drop, so how could she have? How could you explain that she's not there anymore? What did she do? Is it Anthony? But look at, look at that deep shadow, like, oh, this opening. You're a human, so that deep shadow makes me feel like, okay, there's another shadow working with uh, Medeiros and Rosemary, but the only one that like could be would be Anthony, but like I said, he's not a shadow. I heard this part. It's apparently French. I, I was reading the lyrics. I'm like, what? Okay, when I, when I say it with her, but like, mm, mm, that's not the first thing I'm thinking about. That's not the first thing I'm thinking about. It's just like, it reminds me of us. Mm. Reveal yourself. Oh, she told you guys when? But there's... Rabbit Anthony. That's crazy, bro. That'll drive Barbara mad. Wow, this guy just like, wait, wait. You frantically thought of ideas to help Metadose and Osmedi escape? Okay. By using your powers, you could pad, you could, but she didn't. Wait, oh, so she's not dead. And yeah, you're smart, smart. <laughs> right? Like, if you knew they were gonna jump out, if, if they knew, like, He's changed since Christopher died. The fact that he's saying if I'm to be caught and killed and, and like it's not disposed of, he's real. <laughs> I don't even think he cares about escaping or maybe them. Ooh, I think he just wants to destroy his health. How much more season do we get? Season three, that guy, this show top needs season three tops. I feel like this needs to be more meticulous planning, but mm, it's an hour. The window. Everything's on fire. Is this a dream? There's never sun here. Oh, oh my gosh. Sleep in a cage, lay down like a bed in a box. This is so sad. Bro, this is yeah, kidnapping. This is basic human rights to wake up under the sun or something that to see the sun. <laughs> 
brainwashing in its own way. Because this isn't, oh my gosh, girl, you're... She's still brainwashed. We're tools, we're, we're dolls, we're supplies. Do they get their tongues cut off or something? Or so stuff to keep them quiet? Like, I think Edward can do that. Out of, I, was, I was thinking that like, she should help or like as soon as she told her that she's a human. I know to keep the parents outside the room, but inside the room, like we don't have to have her dress you up, kiss you good night, and um, bathe you, all that stuff. Crazy. If anyone sees you though, no one will like put in the bus in there. That it in re in real life literally like how they keep prisoners in the exact same conditions it can drive people mad and uh, how's Sean and John we haven't seen them it won't be you you thought you would I th hmm what if it's Kate Someone that they can, can. Oh! Well, now they know that they didn't do anything. Not the sister. <gasps> wait, wait. So, Belle, the human sister. I shall save you all. Just let me do it. Just let her do her thing. You don't do anything stupid. This episode seems like, okay, I wonder how the uh, ending's gonna be. Cause... She's gonna have more dreams. Did you even sleep? Didn't they say Belle? Or maybe she's just saying it because she feels for her that her sister is gone. Team Tension of the Alpha and then Belle too. Emiko's so nice, like, she's so patient. As long as stuff are getting done, we have to give this girl time. Oh, Y'all just cheese me, bro. Yeah. There's a problem? That's what y'all want. Ugh. Go off, Emiko. Like, she's not going to spoil, of course, if she's human, but come on, come on. Don't cry, like these these guys are robots, okay? So we don't want them to say, oh now Emily Cause mm -mm. So which what's the name of the one that what happened to the I have to go back after. You see what I mean? Why are you ending like this? This is the season finale? I have to wait a year for more? What's going on? That was nothing. Like the, how the end of season one was for the sake of Shadow Souls. After they were singing a song. It was a better ending, I guess. It was more creepy than this. This is just, okay. Well, ends episode 13. But I checked my notes and it said there's only going to be 12 episodes a season. Give me 
me a second. Is there anything at the end? There's still so much time. Okay, okay, okay. This isn't even on the next because you know the season's done. So here's the finishing off of this part, yes? The purple rose. Everyone who lives in the children, they had a life. They used to live very sad. And where's Sean? You're gonna end this without showing me Sean? And look, I just watched him. We're brought here to die. This, oh, thank you for saying die. It just, it hurts, but. Even if they all retaliate, like they have no powers. It is. Okay, this is kind of, I guess it's, oh damn. I don't know why they're meeting again, but look at, well at least Emiko, ooh, she looks crispy with all the lighting on her. You have to make it extra crispy because we have a whole just shadow taking up half the screen. There's nothing there but her clothes. Clothes, um, okay, what were they saying about the twins though? Bell. she's saying Belle because that one's Belle. Living off the disposal of and like the other shadow could just be around still because they're twins, so she could be the face of both of them. But then when they have to merge, like who's gonna Oh this show's so good. But like this season was better than the first one. I mean the first season was really good, like I mean, it can be interesting to make me want to react to the second season as well, right? And I will still recommend it to anybody. But um this season was even it was better and just more it makes you realize the seriousness, uh, the predicament these people are in with the Shadow's house and how, and they've been seeing um, die, uh, death, you know, using those more words more at the ending part. The Kate's little monologue was like, oh, Shadow's house is wrong. And all these humans have been brought here to die. Hearing that, it's, it's pulling a heartstring. They don't want to dramatize any ending because like, we're not done, like, what do, what do you want us to say? Right before the ending song was just like, okay, like, where's the rest? After the ending song, that was a nice way to kind of wrap up the season. We know, sh before um, Emily had the last line, it said, for the sake of Shadow Souls. I remember that because it was weird, and I tell my videos, like, what, do, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? And at the end of this one, it's Kate saying Shadow Souls is bad. I just feel like the ending of each season with the last line is kind of changing the direction, like, of how close we are the beginning that ending i didn't know why she said that kind of for sake of shadow cells it's like okay yeah whole season one everyone was for the sake of it and then this season then she's becoming really sad at the end having dreams about her past recently in this episode whatever and then we learn about christopher christopher and anthony medi those and those medi and at the end we hear shadow cells is bad so of course we know that right but it's just but that line alone wraps up everything we've seen with this season and um, it's gonna start, it's gonna spark the events for the next season. The ending of the first season starting the second season, we were nowhere. And the ending of this season going to season three, where somewhere like Kate's now the leader of team 10, Medi does and those Medi are gone for now. Anthony's around with his suspicious self. I don't know where he's hiding all, like he went in the washing and disappeared. Okay, he could have jumped to the window, but like in two point, who, who seconds? like. And the code checked right away. All the human children in this house, the adults don't matter, right? Burn this whole house down with them inside because there's no hope for them. But the children, it just makes me super sad. It just aggravates me that they're all brainwashed and they get more children from the village to just bring them here to die. It's just, it's just so sad. It, it makes me upset and um, wants to see more because I just want to keep on watching more just to see them win, to see the victory, to see them live, to see them escape. No more deaths. Like, I know we didn't see the twins as much, but one of them just disposed of, and now it's just her. Like, once she gets her memories back, like, once they're saved, like, sure, to be the, their victory, but that's super sad. Like, she lost her sister. How did, well, how did she, did she die? Because I don't really, really recall, like, what they were saying. I think Emiko said, like, because she, she was broken. She has kind of, like, you know, used their terms, or else they realized, like, bro, Emiko, you're kind of weird. Like, what, what do you mean? She's a living doll. But she, she died. Like, no matter who they are, no matter how much attitude they have, even Sarah, not Sarah, Mia, right? Even Mia, like, we want her to be saved. At least she'll realize we're like, what do you mean by like, we're just living dolls, we're vessels, for, we're tools. Like, oh, oh, that aggravates me, bro. Like, oh, we're just going to end the video here, okay? I think I might everything I wanted to, but this season, about Shadow's House. Um, I don't know when season three is gonna come out, but look forward to a reaction to that, you know? I'll always watch Shadow's House. Maybe it'll be 
the same time next year like it was for when I watched season one until now. Um, but yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed my Shadow Souls season two reactions. Please leave a like if you did, because I thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.